What's up everybody? Today we're gonna go through all the parts I have for this EK hatch project. Stuff's starting to get piled on top of it, around it and stuff, so I need to get working on it before it gets buried in here. I'm gonna go through this pile of parts right here. Make sure we got everything that I need to take this block and this head to the machine shop. So I think we're gonna be changing pretty much everything except for the crank, the bare block, and a bare head. I do have it all still together. I don't know if Machine Shop is gonna want this disassembled, but I should have all new springs, retainers, and valves, cam, cam gear, all that stuff's getting brand new. So, lay everything out right here, get it all organized, make sure I got everything, and then get it loaded in the car. That way, after work one day this week, I can take it and drop it off at the Machine Shop. All right, so I don't know if they're gonna need the head gasket but I will bring that just in case. I might have to match something, I don't know. Uh, this is just piston ring compressor. We got the cam gear. So we'll need that. Uh, I think this is the, yeah, this is the fuel pump. They definitely won't need that. Uh, factory Honda oil pump. I'm gonna see if they can port that for me. And we got. Oh, these are our uh, pistons and rings. These are uh, 75.5 millimeter pistons. Just kind of laying it out in kind of the order it goes together. So I'm kind of easier to keep track of what I got. There's a block card. Hopefully they'll put this in for me. If not, I'll figure it out. And then, then here's our valve seals and the locks. Then we have valves. And these ones are our intake valves. And the exhaust valves. So for the head, I'm missing springs, retainers, and cam. And then the bottom end, I need uh, just rods. So, uh, here's our head studs. And here's our uh, springs and retainers. These are from Busy. Bags open, they'll often go through that and count them, make sure they're all there. And this is a Busymoto 3.6 turbo cam. So it looks like a mouse was living in here because all this paperwork is chewed up. There's some cam specs. Not all of them though. I'll have to send uh, send them an email, see if I can't get a <laughs> get these replaced. There's probably some important information in there. I don't know. 
But here's the rods. They've been chewing on those too. But these are the uh, Bizimoto H-beam rods. And then they all right, went through there, and none of the springs got lost, so that's good. They're all, all 16 are still there. But it looks like we are good to go to the machine shop. One thing y'all will notice is there's no bearings. And that is because I don't know if they're going to have to take much material off this crank here. There is some wear on it. And uh, I'd rather just let them do that and then them just tell me what size bearings to buy instead of just guessing. But starting at the bottom, crank girdle crank, then connecting rods, pistons, head gasket, block guard before the head gasket. And then there, so that's our rotating assembly. New wool pump, head studs, adjustable cam gear, Bizimoto camshaft, Bizimoto titanium springs and retainers, and then Ferrera valves, locks and seals. That should be everything to make this an engine. You'll need fuel stuff, fuel injectors, fuel rail. I got the pump. Uh, we'll need a clutch. I've got like three of these stock transmissions, so we'll just burn through transmissions. We'll look into getting a good transmission later on down the road. I just want to get all this together and uh, get turbo kit and everything and get it up running and driving, get it dyno tuned. Then we can worry about transmission and axles and stuff like that. The pistons are going to be pretty much what limits us they're just um viterra pistons so i mean those can only hold so much it's, we're, it's not like we're building a 700 horsepower single cam like busy moto or some of those crazy people so i'll drop this off at the machine shop in the next couple days and then i have no idea how long it's going to take at the machine shop hopefully it'll be pretty fast but there's no telling it could be a couple weeks it could be a couple months and in the meantime, while this stuff is at the machine shop, I'll just keep collecting parts here and there. And hopefully we can get to rolling on this project. But I'll go ahead and get all this stuff loaded up in the car. And then we'll finish this video out. Empty floor. Empty engine stand. Got everything loaded up in here, ready to drop off. Wrap the block up in that plastic because it was very dirty. Crank in there and then all the other parts. So next time you'll see anything about this engine will be uh, when we're picking it up for the machine shop. And then from there, it's just a matter of ordering bearings and some gaskets. And we can start building the engine for this thing and start making some real progress. But that's going to be all for this week. I'm guessing this was probably a pretty short video this week, so sorry about that. But we do have some things planned. There's uh, another gambler coming up at the end of April, so we'll be taking the Lifted Civic off to that. We've got some other things we're going to be doing. This was honestly just kind of a filler video this week. Not really much going on. But I did need to get all that stuff organized here at the machine shop. So definitely something that needed to happen though. But thanks for watching. We'll see you next week for another one. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.